Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to globally set text min and max values. Now to show you guys how to do this, I first feel like I need to explain what site themes are. Site themes are a way for us to control the color and text elements across our entire website. For example, if I come over to add and I go down to buttons and let's just add this button here. And for the background color, let's go ahead and set it to our theme color, which is blue. And then we go ahead and build out the rest of our website with a bunch of these different buttons buttons. And then maybe we realize we don't really like the blue anymore and we want to change it. Instead of going to each individual button and changing the color manually, what we can do is actually come over to the site styles right over here, click on colors, and we can actually change the blue color palette that we have here. So I'm gonna say edit color range, and maybe we'll choose like a nice turquoise color here, and we'll press apply. And you'll notice that all of the button colors change with it. On top of that, you'll also notice that anything else on the website that's using that color palette will also change. So this menu element over here was originally blue, but now it's also turned green or turquoise to match the the color palette that we set for the action color. And same thing happens with text. For example, if I go over to add, go down to text and we just drag out this heading too. And we'll notice that with this text element inside of the inspector panel, you'll notice that the theme is set to the heading too. And the font is made for display bold. And just like with the buttons, if we build out our entire website with these heading twos, and then we realize later that we want to change the font, instead of going to each text element that is a heading two and changing it manually, what we can do is come over to site styles, go over to typography, and we can easily just edit the heading to site style. So we can go ahead and click on that. And let's go ahead and change the font to something that's a little more obvious that it's a different font. We'll choose this one right here and we'll go ahead and press apply. And now you'll notice that all of the heading twos that were on our website have now changed. So as you can see, using site styles on your website is a huge help. It prevents you from having to go element by element to make minor changes if you want to change everything for your entire website. It is super useful. But now that you have a firm understanding of the importance of the site styles. Now let's go ahead and talk about setting up minimum and maximum values for your text elements across your entire website. For example, if I go ahead and just add a paragraph one to our website, you know, right here on this screen, it looks really good, but maybe on a larger screen, this paragraph text is going to look really, really big and vice versa. On mobile devices, this text element is gonna be so tiny. If I grab this text element, you will see that the font size is set to five, and that is way too small. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know I never like to go lower than 13 pixels, especially on mobile. But the point that I'm trying to make is now we can actually set this up globally, because back in the day, once we added a text element to the website, we would have to come over to the inspector panel drop this max and min, min option here. And for example, we could set 13 pixels here for the minimum value. And that way, when we go down to mobile, it's not gonna be any smaller than 13 pixels. However, now we can do this globally. So we don't have to do this for every single paragraph element on our entire website. So for now, I'm just gonna remove the minimum value here just to kind of show you. And we'll also go ahead and check out the theme that it's under. This paragraph is set to paragraph one. So if we come over to our site styles, go down to our paragraph one styling here and open this up. We can now see a max and a min value here. Now, like I've already kind of expressed, I don't like to go smaller than 13. So I'm gonna set the minimum to 13. And we'll see on the current website, the font size is set to 18. So maybe on a larger desktop, we don't want this to get any bigger than 22 just like that. And we can go ahead and press apply. So now when I go ahead and click on the paragraph text and we open up the inspector panel, you'll see that the max and min options here have already applied our 22 and 13. So when we go to a larger des desktop size, you're gonna notice that the font size is no longer getting bigger than this. And then on a smaller breakpoint like mobile, 
you'll notice that it's never gonna get any smaller than this. And the great thing is, is if we just go over to the add panel and we add another paragraph one, we can now see that the max and min have applied it to this one as well. So as we're building out the rest of our website and other pages, we will have that peace of mind that the font will never get too big or too small on any breakpoint. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.